Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for popping in today. I have a very exciting uh, haul slash review slash just favorites for you and it's everything I love from Trader Joe's. So I'm a big fan of Trader Joe's. I don't know why I'm slowly like stockpiling these products, but I wanna give you a sense of what's to come. Um, I love Trader Joe's for groceries. I think they have really good, higher quality, healthy, products that are also delicious and most importantly well priced so it's a great alternative in my opinion to like whole foods or something that's really expensive where you're still going to get a lot of organic options um, the trader joe's brand has incredible offerings and a huge array of stuff and i just find it all to be really good quality and a great price so i've had some beauty like favorites over the years from them that i keep coming back to and then lately i feel like they've also They've also really stepped it up with their offerings in the beauty department. So the more and more like tried and true favorites I get from them, the more I'm like, I need to talk to you guys about this. So today I want to sit down. I've just restocked everything I love from there and I want to do a quick haul slash review of all their best beauty products. And I think I've covered them all. So this should be pretty thorough. Um, let me just dive in with their body butter. So this is their coconut body butter. I think it's kind of a classic product that they have. I don't know if you can see the texture. It's very creamy. It's very rich and it's just, it smells divine. Like it smells, it smells like a coconut cupcake. It's very sweet and, um, but mild. Like I don't like a body butter or a body lotion that competes with my perfume too much. So it's a nice mild, but very good scent. It's a very nice, luxuriously creamy texture. And for the price point, you can't beat it. Body butters can really be expensive. I'm six feet tall. I have like a lot of surface area to cover. So I need an affordable body butter. I go through them fast. Like this one, it's already time to restock. So this is a classic. I love it so much. And I also wanted to show you, this is kind of seasonal, but they have a pumpkin version, which is amazing. It smells so good. I mean, obviously we're at the wrong time of year for it right now. But it smells so good and pumpkin-y and again like subtle enough that you can wear it on the daily and not walk around smelling like a Starbucks latte but this is great if you ever get a chance to pick this up it might not just be fall like look at your Trader Joe's the other thing about Trader Joe's beauty products is they kind of vary what's in stock from store to store so every time I get the chance to go to a different Trader Joe's in like a different part of LA I always race to the beauty section to see what I can find um, if I'm traveling, I pop into Trader Joe's and see what's different. So that's a little tip to the wise. Also, if you live in a town that doesn't have a Trader Joe's, I feel your pain. I lived in Savannah, Georgia before moving out here. We did not have a Trader Joe's. And it was honestly heartbreaking. <laughs> like, I don't know if I could live in a town without a Trader Joe's again. Like, that's how much this store means to me. The prices are amazing. The products are amazing. So I'm committed. Okay, here's another product I've been using for years and years and years. This is their face wipes and they are made with micellar water. And I feel like these were around before the micellar craze kind of started. I definitely use these before I use micellar water. They have a very light, fresh scent. They're very gentle. And my absolute favorite thing about them is they don't burn or sting. Every face wipe I ever tried before these made my skin kind of sting. To the point where I thought that was just part of face wipes. I didn't know until I tried these and I was like, oh wow, so that's how it's supposed to feel. They're very gentle, they're very mild, and they do a great job. I don't use these on the nightly, you know, I prefer to like triple cleanse my face because I'm crazy, but if I'm traveling or if I just need a quick like refresh on my makeup, they're my go-to. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, jumping into a hair product. This is a hair mask. <laughs> It has shea butter and coconut oil, two of my top, top favorite ingredients for hair, shiny, healthy, happy hair. And I really like this. I actually almost use it more as a conditioner because I'm hardcore that way. My hair is on the like dehydrated side, so I can kind of get away with that. But even if you're the type who can only mask your hair like once a week, I still would really recommend it. What I do is shampoo my hair like normal wring out the water like while I'm still in the shower, put this in like a conditioner, twist it up into like a bun on top of my head, finish the rest of my shower, like body wash, shave, exfoliate, to kind of take my time to let this soak in and then finally rinse it out. And every time I do this, I get out of the shower with the silkiest, most smelling, delicious hair. Oh, 
This is so nice. And it just has all the ingredients that like check the boxes for me for what I look for in a hair mask. Um, okay. Here's something I'm so excited about. In fact, this was kind of the moment where I was like, I have to do a Trader Joe's beauty video because they are starting to like stick their toe into the waters of serums and it's a huge success. This is my favorite. It's the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. And as you probably know, hyaluronic acid is like a power ingredient in skincare right now. It's so great. It can really retain moisture in your skin. And this one is just so nice. It has a very nice texture, not too watery, not too sticky. It's just awesome. And it makes you feel so hydrated. It really does what it says. And I like to just mix it in with other products. So I'll mix it in with my moisturizer or a mask or another serum. And if you have skin that's on like the dehydrated dry side like me, this stuff is just the perfect little boost. I honestly haven't had dry skin since I started using this. Um, before it, I was using like the Peter Thomas Roth Hyaluronic Serum and the price difference is crazy. Uh, and for me, it's just totally worth it to go with this one instead. You can kind of do a comparison on the ingredients and see where you land on it. But for me, this is an awesome home run. They also have an antioxidant serum, which I haven't tried yet. I'm guessing that's kind of like vitamin C alternative sort of serum, but I haven't gone there because I'm very committed to my vitamin C serums. <laughs> so, okay, moving on with face stuff. This is their facial cleansing oil. This one of all the products I'm going to talk about is the only one that doesn't get like an A++ from me because it does have argan and coconut oil, which are like two of my hero favorite products but the first ingredient is neither one of those things. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, it has some like things I can't pronounce in the ingredients. I would much rather it just literally be coconut oil and argan oil. But that said, it does the job. And sometimes I'll turn to this just because the oils I like are really expensive. Like I love the Tatcha Camellia cleansing oil. <sighs> that stuff is just my holy grail, but it's so expensive. So I went through a bottle of this in between Tatcha Camellia oils because I was like, you know, got to save up for some of this stuff and Honestly, this still did the job. I didn't have any bad reactions to it The only other thing is it does have fragrance in it and in my opinion, it's like way too strong I don't like fragrance in my face products. It smells nice It's just you know, I was kind of keeping it away from my eye area because of that So keep those in mind But if you do want to go for just a really affordable facial cleansing oil and it does have those benefits of argan and coconut oil Pretty good option, like I said, you can't be the price. Okay, another facial cleansing thing are these cleansing pads with tea tree oil. I love tea tree oil. I think tea tree oil is one of those miracle products like coconut oil that it can just like cure anything. <laughs> They're basically little cotton rounds that are soaked in, they don't reek of tea tree oil, but there's a lot of tea tree oil in here. Um, the first ingredient is actually witch hazel, which is amazing for your skin. It balances, it tones. And I really like these. The only thing I'll say is they have alcohol in them, so they're more on the drying side. I definitely don't use these every day. What I like these for is if I go to like a hot yoga class or something and I'm sweating, I always would use this afterward. Um, or if I'm going to like the gym and I'm not gonna have time to go home and properly wash my face, I would always bring these. You know, tea tree oil is amazing because it has those antibacterial properties, antifungal, any weird stuff that could happen as a result of a trip to the gym or sweating or anything like that this will totally knock it out so i love these for preventing any kind of blemishes any kind of weird skin reactions um but that said they are on the drying side okay so the remedy to dryness is moisture and i am a huge huge fan of argan oil <laughs> I've always loved argan oil and I was always a Josie Marin argan oil girl, but that is $48 a bottle for a 1.7 ounce bottle. And this is a 1.7 ounce bottle for $7. So once I was like sauntering through my Trader Joe's and looked over and saw, hey, hmm, they have 100% organic argan oil where the only ingredient is argan oil. And it's also sourced from Morocco and it's also got all the same things that it can claim that the Josie Marin one claims, I was like, I gotta switch. And I've never looked back. It's, in my opinion, exactly the same as the Josie Marin product. I'm saving so much money. Like, I just, I go through a bottle of argan oil maybe like once a month. Like, I use it for my hair, my skin, my nails, 
my lips, my elbows. I, I just think it's a perfect ingredient for glowy, happy skin. So I love this stuff. I turn to it constantly. Uh, another oil that I really love is vitamin E oil. I'm sure you guys know it's amazing for like healing scars. It's so good for regenerating your skin. And the main thing I use this for is like if I'm doing a DIY, I don't know if you've seen my, I'll link it below my beauty regimens video. I have like a DIY eyelash serum I do. I do hair oils and I like to always mix some vitamin E oil into any kind of chemistry experiment I'm doing like that. Um, it's just got so many benefits. And what better way to get it than just cheap from Trader Joe's? <laughs> straight vitamin E oil. So this comes in handy all the time. Like I don't really use it straight, but you could. And you can also pour it into the bath. That sounds nice. Back on the tea tree train for a second. Like I said, I think tea tree is a, a miracle ingredient. And this is one of the first products that I started really turning to Trader Joe's for. This is just straight tea tree oil. It's an essential oil. It smells very strong. Whew. I don't really like the smell of tea tree oil. But man, this stuff like gets the job done. When you need tea tree, this is where you where you get it. So I like to use it mainly as a spot treatment for acne. It just it can really knock a blemish out blemish out overnight if I get to it in time. But you can also use it for any kind of like antifungal, antibacterial. You can dilute it. Sometimes I'll dilute it and wash my yoga mat with this because, like I said, I'm kind of OCD about gym stuff and I want to keep it all very sanitary. Um, it's just perfect for those little odds and ends when you need tea tree oil. It's like a cheap little bottle you can keep around. It is obviously very drying, so use it in moderation on your skin. But Okay, here we go. This is like one of the other finds that just came out recently that I was like, okay, Trader Joe's has stepped their game up and I'm so on board. This is a rose water facial toner and I'm so in love with it. So in love. It's for hydrating and refreshing. It has water, stirred up rose oil, a little bit of witch hazel, and it just, oh my gosh. Mm, it smells so good. I'm sure you know rose water is amazing for your skin. It's like perfect for balancing and toning. And I really like to just refresh my face literally all day with this. Like every time I go through the bathroom, I'll grab a spritz of this. And it just feels so good. And it's like cute, feminine, girly, pink bottle. Like Trader Joe's, you nailed it on this. I'm loving it. I'm totally on board. Okay, here's something I also use frequently and go through really fast. It's their Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. It has coconut oil, hemp oil, and shea butter, and it's paraben free. And it's very thick, which is how I roll when it comes to lotions. Like I do not come to play when it comes to lotion. I really like to hydrate. Um, if you've seen probably literally any of my other videos, you know my holy grail hand lotion is the Deborah Lipman one that has sunscreen in it, SPF. So this isn't the one that I keep like in my purse, in my car and everywhere, but this is the one I keep by my bedside table to just, like before I go to bed, like drench my hands and really keep them hydrated. Um, because I just hate that dry hand feeling and I really like, <clears throat> sorry, I like inhaled it. I really like something that's ultra moisturizing like this. So again, it's just a good affordable option. Honestly, I wouldn't pay like L'Occitane prices for it or something, but since it's a good solid Trader Joe's option, I'm like, yeah, of course, that's my, that's what I'll turn to. Okay, here's another lotion from them. This is the Milk Lotion. And obviously, you guess what attracted me to this was the cute packaging. It came in a set with Milk Bubble Bath home run for me. I loved it so much. I already went through the bubble bath or else I would be showing you that. But this lotion is also really nice. I don't use it as a body lotion, which I think is what they intended by mixing it or putting it in that set. How moisturized are my hands going to be by the end of this video? And when I see lotion, I can't resist. It's like, it's an actual addiction. That's my trigger. Um, but this just smells nice. It's light. It's like I said, I wouldn't use it for my whole body because it doesn't have what I crave, like a body butter, I crave that really moisturized feeling. But this is great, what I do with it is keep it by my hand soap in the bathroom because I always moisturize my hands after I wash them. It just keeps them looking so much nicer, feeling so much nicer, and it's perfect for that. And it's cute, I just love the milk bottle aesthetic. Obviously you guys know I'm milk and honey life on this channel, and I love that. So that was perfect for me. Okay, last 
tea tree oil product. This is bar soap with tea tree oil. And it's cruelty free, it's got like four ingredients and it does the job. Um, I hate bar soap, I hate feeling squeaky clean. See all of my previous points about moisturizing. But sometimes, like, like I said, after a hot yoga class or something like that, I just really want to feel like, okay, I'm 100% antibacterial, antifungal, anti-everything right now, and that's when I'll use this. So it's very drying. I definitely follow it up with the body butter. But if you want a soap that you know has like natural benefits like that, it's hard to beat the tea tree oil. Okay, is this the last thing? Aww. Trader Joe's, make more stuff. Okay, this is the last thing, and I really love these. They are to-go packs of organic coconut oil. Why would someone ever need a to-go coconut oil, you might be asking. This is weird, I put some other brand coconut oil in here because I was like consolidating. Let me get down to the Trader Joe's ones. Okay, um, I honestly don't know what the point of this is. Like. Ooh, is there a big mobility problem with coconut oil? Like, I'm genuinely curious what they intended this for. I can tell you what I use it for is shaving cream. I, if you've seen some of my other videos, my travel packing hacks, I shave with coconut oil. I think it gives you the closest, best, smoothest shave. It's obviously very hydrating, good for your skin. It doesn't have any sketchy chemicals in it. Um, most shaving creams on the market like make my legs itch really uncontrollably and it's horrible. So that's why I switched to coconut oil. I've never looked back and I love it. And these little to-go packets are perfect for when I'm traveling. I can just take like, you know, a few of these, throw them in the shower, shave, throw them away when I'm done. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs are making noises. Um, and they're just perfect. So I don't know what these are for. Like, what would you do with these? Put them on a salad or something? I have no idea. But I love them for shaving. You could also, even if you don't want to shave with coconut oil, it's great for just a whole body treatment. If you're going on a, like a sun-filled vacation after, the, after being out, maybe getting a little bit of a sunburn, drenching yourself in coconut oil is amazing. And these are just like perfectly portioned little packs. So I love these. I always keep them in my suitcase. You never know when you're gonna need them. So those are all my top, top favorites from Trader Joe's. I hope you guys got some good ideas. I hope you have a Trader Joe's near you because it's life-changing. Um, let me know if there's anything you like that I failed to mention. I'm always up for new suggestions. And like I said, all of these are probably under, I think, I think this might be the most expensive at like $10. So these are all really well-priced, really great, and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe, and as always, like this video, comment, let me know, I love to interact with you. So I'll hit you guys up soon, and thanks so much.